Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today we're going to talk about messages from your future self. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your messages. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So messages from your future self. We have the crowning, initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. And we also have morning too, clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. From tarot, you have the lovers, beautiful. The queen of swords, air energy, <laughs> another air energy, the seven of swords. The page, <laughs> are you kidding me? The king of cups, finally, some water, and another air. <laughs> the five of swords, and oh my God, this is crazy. We are definitely talking about someone who has a lot of strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? And then from Letterman, you have clouds, fish, the querent, that's you, and the letter, a message from your future self. Definitely something unexpected, okay? Now, for a lot of you, this is about a love interest, but it doesn't have to be, okay? But it is definitely about a person, okay? There is a person in your life, astrological clue, Gemini, right? This is the major iconic card of Gemini. And then we have Libra with the Queen of Swords, okay? And all three of them, along with Aquarius with the Page of Swords. The King of Cups is not a dominant energy, probably representing you, not the other person. But either way, an air sign, okay? Now, this could be their sun rising Venus. If you are not familiar with their natal chart, this is simply someone who is mind over matter, okay? Someone who definitely thinks, rationalizes, instead of acting impulsively because of their feelings, because of their emotions. So this is the person that we're talking about. And right now, you are feeling hopeless, okay? You have the card of defeat, right? Feeling like there's nothing there. Oh my God, I just heard a very specific message. You think this person is not interested, not just in you, but in all women or in all men, okay? So there is totally hopelessness. Someone that you have a crush on, you know, is not sexually attracted to your kind. It's that kind of energy, right? So there is hopelessness here. There is defeat. And this is you feeling like you are trapped. This relationship is never going to move forward, right? This is where we are right now. But this reading is about messages from your future self. And what do these cards say? There's going to be a fresh start, right? A new beginning, something positive. There's going to be a death and then a rebirth when it comes to this connection. So you think it's so hopeless. And again, this doesn't have to be a love interest. We have a queen and a king here. This could even be your parents. This could even be authority figures in your life, right? People that you look up to, court cards. Someone that you feel like compared to you, they're much older and wiser and more mature. Because in the middle, we just have a page, right? The youngest of all the court cards. And then he is surrounded by a queen and a king. So someone that you believe to be better, wiser, older, richer perhaps than you and you desire this person okay whether sexually or spiritually you want this person in your life you want this person to value you but deep down you know that it's hopeless but that is the message though this is going to come as a shock right we have the clouds here followed by the fish this is the card of confusion, right? Of depression, 
as well. And this is the card of positivity, abundance, movement, dancing, right? So this will be replaced by this. And because this is such a strong card, even now that I'm already telling you about it, you still cannot find it in your heart <laughs> to believe that you really have a romantic chance with this person or that this non-romantic person, fa family member or authority figure, you find it hard to believe that they can love you the way that you love them or the way that they love somebody else, cherish, care for somebody else, right? You feel like you're not the favorite, you don't matter, but that is going to change. And that is something that your future self wants you to know. If, and it is, <laughs> if it is a cause of sadness, depression, defeat, right? Feeling trapped, anxiety for you right now, know that very soon it's all going to change because you are wrong about this person. You feel like they don't care, they don't love you, they will never mirror, echo, reciprocate your affections. You are wrong. Okay, your future self wants you to know that this person will definitely change the way that they behave towards you. And that is why you have these cards, right? This is you, the current, and this is the letter. So you will be receiving a message from this person, either revealing how they really feel or just an act of love and appreciation towards you. Okay, it's going to be really, really beautiful. This person will choose you. They will pick you, okay, with the lovers here. And this is why I say that for the majority of you, this is a romantic connection because we have the number one soulmate card in tarot in your spread at the beginning of your spread, okay? So this person is the one. This person is the one who's going to really spend the rest of their life with you, okay? Someone who's going to mirror your energy or someone who's going to return your affection, someone that you are going to recognize from a past life, right? And like we said, this is also the card of Gemini, so that is a huge clue as to who this person could be. And right now they really are <laughs> just kind of cold towards you, even if they're not completely cold or cruel. With the Queen of Swords here, the way that they treat you, it's calculated. Okay, they might smile, they might laugh, but it's still professional or it's still civil and not heartfelt, okay? This is also the card of Libra. So Libra, Gemini, a lot of air, right? The suit of swords in tarot, that is the suit of the air signs. So definitely we are talking about someone here. Now there is some sort of negativity here with the seven of swords you are going to be gladdened by this person giving you this news coming into your life but someone else will be hurt okay this is the card of this person choosing you over somebody else so obviously if this is romance someone's gonna get heartbroken someone's gonna get left behind right for you for your sake okay and it's going to be painful for that person with the page of swords this is a mirror of this right the page of swords is a messenger as well but also the harshest of all the messengers bringing this betrayal energy right so heralding this departure from somebody else to be with you Although the good part is that this is not something random, something cruel. We have the lovers here and the king of cups. So this person really is meant to be in your life and to stay in your life and to choose you. So there might be some pain and agony when it comes to another person, a third party involved that they thought was their soulmate before they met you or that they thought was their favorite, was their best friend, the most loyal to them before they saw your worth, okay? But eventually they are meant to be with you. The King of Cups is the King of Hearts, the King of Emotions, and you, this relationship, are the King of their soul, right? Of everything that they are inside. So this is your message from your future self, darling. 
someone whose attention and love and affection you're craving right now will mirror your energies, will give everything back to you. Probably an air sign, okay? This is also the card of Scorpio. So maybe some prominent Scorpio somewhere hidden in their chart that you don't know about, but they do have this mysterious, quiet, but confident energy about them. So this is your message from your future self. It's a surprise, right? You're going to be shocked realizing that this person whom you thought didn't care about you at all turns out to be in love with you or to love you very, very deeply. And it is them who will come forward, okay? You don't have to do anything. We have the Page of Swords, the Messenger. We have this as well, another message card towards you. So it is them who's going to make the move. You don't have to do anything. This love, this relationship, this connection will just come towards you and it will involve hurting someone else, but it will eventually be the cause of your true happiness. I hope you enjoyed your messages. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, messages from your future self. We have the grandmothers. Remember your roots. Perspective. Trust the weavings. We also have the sacred union. Beloved within inner and outer relationships. From tarot, you have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups, lots of emotions, the Ten of Pentacles. This is about your lineage, your family. We have the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, and finally from tarot, the Knight of Cups from Lannerman. You also have the ring and the anchor. This really is about family, the women in your life. We also have the tree again, <laughs> your roots, right? And the book. Darling, it's very simple. Your message from your future self is that all of the answers, all of the solutions to your problems, to your worries right now, lie with your family okay with your history i'm hearing that right now with the three of swords and the four of cups you are actually looking down on your ancestors it doesn't have to be distant ancestors but even your mother your grandmother right the women in your life men as well but more women i'm hearing more women okay that's the energy that I'm sensing. You're looking down on them because you feel like they are martyrs with the Three of Swords, right? They allow themselves to be hurt by men, by life, by traitors, right? By people in general. And every time you think about these women who are supposed to be role models in your life, you just don't want to be like them. Right? You feel like you're better than them with the Four of Cups. You don't want to be anything like them. You feel that they are weak, right? You feel, I'm hearing, that they haven't accomplished anything. No fame, not a lot of money. They never became somebody. So you do look down on them right now. But your message from your future self is that you will be inspired by these women, by these people, okay? Because theirs is a quiet kind of strength, okay? With the Eight of Cups, they walked away from other pursuits, from career, from being rich, from being known, from being prominent. They walked away from that and chose something else. I'm hearing it's either love or family. And again, you perceive that to be weak, right? But these people, these women in your life, they have a different kind of strength, okay? It is about putting other people in front of them, right? In front of their own needs, right? Putting other people first, putting, oh gosh, I just heard something very specific. Some of these women 
they didn't want to be mothers, okay? But their mothers wanted them to be mothers, so they did that for their mom's happiness, okay? It is your right. It's about being a martyr. It's about sacrifice. But this doesn't, as you think right now, make them kind of worthless, right? Or just someone who's mediocre or average. It actually made them really emotionally, spiritually, mentally strong. And there are a lot of pain and wounds in there that you don't see, okay? With the Three of Swords here. It's hidden. It's on the inside. It's in their heart, right? You do not see the things that they had to go through, right? You feel like their life is so easy. They don't have a career. They didn't go to college. For some of you, I just heard that, right? And it's just housework and being a housewife. And you just really look down on that. But here's the thing. That is the true wealth for them, okay? They don't worry about deadlines. They don't worry about over time, working over time and nine to five jobs and all that. They don't worry about petty things like that. They worry about nurturing someone, nourishing someone, bringing, giving life and love to somebody. So here you are looking down on these people, not knowing that theirs is actually the bigger, mightier, more majestic path. They give birth right? They give life. They breathe life into someone. They give hope. They teach that child, that person, how to live and laugh and love and be alive, right? So it's actually the bigger pursuit. And your message from your future self is that that's something you will realize. When you have problems, it's not self-help books that will help you. <laughs> it's not even friends who could be loyal to you, but they don't know how to advise you, right? It is these people. You know, right now you feel like it's crazy. You feel like there's nothing to learn from these women, that they just have crazy stories and anecdotes and folk tales <laughs> and superstitions and whatnot, but they actually have a wealth of wisdom and knowledge and experience to impart to you, okay? So your future self wants you to know that when problems come in the future, make sure that you allow these women that you currently look down on to help you, okay? It's really that simple. The answer, the solution, the support has always been around you and it will emanate from people, from women that you think are not as great as you, okay? But these women share the same soul with you, really. They share the same history, right? So you have to trust in what they have to offer. There's going to be a union between your lives, right? Between your experiences. You will see yourself in them, okay? There's a lot to learn from these people and it will really surprise you. With the Ten of Pentacles and Anchor and the Ring, this is the endlessness right, of your connection with them. This is them helping you on the mundane plane of it, helping you with the contracts, helping you with relationships, helping you when it comes to legal property stuff, right? They really are here to support you. And then with the anchor and the 10 of pentacles, these are basically mirrors of each other. They are all about stability. So these women, these people in your life, will help you find emotional strength. This is the card of families as well. There are three generations here, okay? You have the grandfather, right? You have his son and his wife, and then you have the child with the dogs, okay? <laughs> so this is all about your grandmother, your mom, right? This is about you forming a stronger bond and them helping you in life, okay? And spirituality as well. Again, the tree from Lennerman, it's about your roots, but also your beliefs, okay? Your faith. It's about sharing that with them. And it's a revelation with the book here, okay? It will be revealed to you that all this time, the wise people that you are looking to idolize <laughs> are not celebrities, are not gurus. It's the women in your life, okay? 
you will realize their true strength and it is so much better and more majestic and more impactful than you imagined. That is your message from your future self, okay? Learn from these women, befriend these women because they will help you achieve the best version of yourself. I hope you enjoyed your messages. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, messages from your future self. We have, and they won't, <laughs> they don't want to show themselves. Temple of the Rose, Ancient Power, Expression, Activation, Scarlet Codes. Very cryptic. We also have Sabrosa. Oh my God, again, cryptic. Hidden in plain sight, mysteries, learning, and teaching. This has to do with the occult or maybe just spirituality so far. We have the Hermit. The theme continues, okay? Meditation, introspection. We also have temperance, healing, balance, right? Mental health, you are kidding me. The Hagman, another very spiritual card. We also have the Two of Cups, love. The Eight of Pentacles, work. The Wheel of Fortune, luck. And the King of Pentacles. This is a very strong message. From Lennerman, you have Rider again. Something really strong. And Clover. This is like a mirror of the Wheel of Fortune. Something about luck. You have Cross and the Key as well. Your message from your future self is that there is truth in lies and we are mostly talking about spirituality for example horoscopes obviously they're stupid right i'm talking about the magazine type the tabloid type of horoscopes today you should wear red that way you're going to meet your soulmate like that's crazy right or giving you lottery numbers <laughs> so that you can become a millionaire on saturday obviously these are kind of very commercial and they're more for fun and you can really take them seriously they're very vague right they're very ambiguous and they're meant to be like that so that everyone can relate to them but the real kind of astrology that takes into account your natal chart right the planets in your first house and your seventh house and whether this is retrograde or that or whether the moon was a waning crescent when you were born real astrology yields real predictions and truly useful advice when it comes to your life okay but not a lot of people know that because they don't dig in they only think that astrology is the tabloid kind of horoscope the stupid kind <laughs> that really nobody believes in no one smart believes in right it's just something for fun so that is one example another even is tarot which is so relevant because this is a tarot reading when it comes to tarot, right now the meanings that a lot of people are familiar with are modern meanings, right? So you see the hermit, you think someone single, someone lonely, right? Someone who doesn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, someone who is bored, right? Lockdown energy. These are the modern meanings and sometimes they are applicable, but the Hermit is really about wisdom, okay? It's about transcending your body, your life in this incarnation, and being in touch with your soul, with your higher self, communing with your past lives. That is what the Hermit really is. But not a lot of people know that. They see the Hermit, oh, I'm going to be single. I'm not going to meet someone this summer, right? So those are kind of shallow and people are correct. <laughs> people are right to criticize them. Skeptics, right? When they say that tarot is stupid, astrology is stupid, because they only know the shallow modern meanings. But there is always something else. So again, your message from your future self, there is truth buried deep within the lies, right? Hidden in plain sight. Mysteries that actually matter, that are truly occult, that can actually yield real magic and change and evolution in your life, okay?
It's like there is this ancient power within you that you will be able to tap into, okay? So basically, <laughs> your future self is asking you to be more spiritual, more curious when it comes to the occult, when it comes to spiritual magic, when it comes to your soul, okay? And not just because it's fun, you want to meditate, it's cool. <laughs> it's because it also ties in with the real world, okay? Your first three cards are very spiritual. You have the Hermit, the card of Virgo, Temperance, this is the card of Sagittarius and the Hanged Man, the card of Neptune, ruler of Pisces. So probably we are talking about someone who has those signs prominent in their chart, who is important in your life, or we're talking about you, okay? But either way, look at these cards. They're all calm. No one is like the King of Swords who is <laughs> attacking, right? Or the King of Wands who is ready to stand up and dance, right? These are very calm energies. The Hermit, right? He's alone on top of the mountain. The Temperance card. This is someone who's just balancing something. <laughs> someone who is thinking about mental and emotional balance, right? Playing with water somewhere in nature. It's quiet. The Hangman is not moving. <laughs> Meditating, definitely. Introspection, right? So the first part of it is... You're being asked by your higher self and being told that no matter how worldly or practical or skeptical you think you are right now, in the near future, you will be into spirituality, meditation, divination, even spellcraft, and you're going to be successful. The hermit is the card of success, of wisdom when it comes to spiritual endeavors and then temperance. This is achieving equilibrium, absolute balance between your material world and your spiritual world the hangman this is enlightenment right that's why he has a halo around his head so you will be able to learn secrets about the universe about the divine about life in general it's really amazing and here's the thing in the middle of your spread we have the two of cups so two things one someone of these zodiac signs, right? <laughs> I told you about them, will lead you towards this, will encourage you to take this very spiritual life. Right now, you're probably just someone who's watching random pick a card readings on YouTube, right? You're going to become somebody who reads your own cards and who's freaking great at it, okay? Someone who knows astrology, doesn't just read stupid horoscopes online, <laughs> but someone who knows how to plot your own natal chart and the natal charts of other people and to make credible predictions about life, okay? So that is one message, okay? Someone will lead you into this life, will help you become the most spiritual successful version of yourself but the other message is that it doesn't stop there so you're probably thinking oh i don't want to be the kind of person who's like a hermit who's so good at these things but who's kind of a nobody in the real world no this spiritual wisdom and knowledge that you will eventually learn okay you will be able to use it right to transcend a second world right number two another part of your life which is the material right the suit of pentacles is all about the material world. It's about career, jobs, studies, money, savings, right? Power when it comes to your purchasing power, like your financial power. This is all about the tangible, okay? And in between that, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is the card of Saturn, who is the lord of the material world. So first message from your future self, you will be someone very spiritual, but it won't stop there. The second message is that you will be able to use this spirituality, this hidden knowledge, right? This secrets <laughs> in order to enrich and enhance your material world as well. So eventually you will find a job that you really, really love. It doesn't feel like a job, right? And then you will find a lot of luck when it comes to promotions, bonuses, jobs, windfalls, raffles, even lottery, right? The Wheel of Fortune is literally a lottery card. So that will all come. And finally, the King of Pentacles, whether you're a man or a woman, 
He is representing your future. The King of Pentacles is the king of the material world. So eventually, you will become extremely stable. Okay? Another message from your future self. This is also the card of Taurus. So that is your clue as to how you're going to be. Whether or not you actually have Taurus in your chart. Taurus is the sign of comfort and pleasure. Ruled by Venus, goddess of love. Right? Goddess of all beautiful things in life so life is going to feel beautiful and you are going to be extremely stable all because of the techniques and the knowledge and the occult wisdom that you are going to learn very soon and see here it is right there's a writer one of these three people virgo sagittarius pisces okay one of these people will act like a writer like a messenger taking you towards your luck or the clover okay and finally this really is your fate okay the cross is the card of spirituality what we've been talking about this whole time and that will soon be unlocked right your potential to be someone very prominent in the occult someone really good at divination and spell casting and astrology right all of that potential will be unlocked and with that will also be unlocking the financial, material, tangible stability of your life in this world, okay? So you're not just going to be some hermit who is so hippie and who doesn't want to talk about anything real and practical. You are going to rule both sides of your life, mental, spiritual, material, financial, tangible, okay? So you are going to be able to <laughs> sit in your own throne. That is your message from your future self. It's going to be shocking, right? This is so not you. I'm hearing a lot of you just like to sit, sit back and relax, not participate so much, just be a spectator. But all of that is going to turn around and you're going to be an authority both in the occult and the material world, okay? Basically, in short, your message from your future self is that you are going to be somebody. I hope you enjoyed your messages. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon. Take care.